Um, yeah, so before we start, you should know this is um, season four, and it's Jeremy's house where Jeremy makes the rules. That's cool. right. So Alex, we're back at where we've moved apartments because Alex is going through a divorce. Great. That's not true. <laughs> Alex's and I wife won't said, say it on the show, Alex's, on the podcast. Alex's wife said it's me or the podcast. If and I, here we are. If I say this yeah. live in the podcast, I will be swamped with... <laughs> incessant bachelors <laughs> it's every bad. day of my life. Wait, you are getting divorced? I am not getting divorced. Okay. And we all need <laughs> to stop to saying it, it on the show. Because yeah, I it's can't... It's a bit. I can't swim through a sea of bachelors. Take it off, Alex. It's all, We all know it's real. I won't take it off. This is my fourth wedding ring. <laughs> and I refuse to change it. So if we all understand that Jeremy makes the rules and it's Jeremy's house, I'm gonna. We're hit all up. married. We're all married. We're all married. Did you? Sorry, I got fat around my. Oh, eyes. Yo, that's how you do it. You just you gotta get fat. Alex, otherwise lost three. you lose it in the ocean. That's you what I'm saying. Yeah, you lost three of them. I did. Well, I was buying them too big because they were titanium, and I was afraid of degloving myself. Mm. Sure. I've talked about this so much, but it is a fear that you should have. If you wear rings, your skin's gonna get ripped off your hand like Jimmy Fallon. Look it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then he had to wear a face. <laughs> Jimmy. Freak. We love what you do. <laughs> Are we recording? Are we, I mean, it's a recording. I don't know if it's any of this. It's all going If we in. want to start with your friend from high school's huge penis, it's there. That's <laughs> locked in. <laughs> That's pretty much all we got right now. <laughs> I'm going to hit the button and we're going to dance. With Quarator Season 4, Jeremy's House, where Jeremy makes the rules. I'm Alex, and I'm just a little worm. That's right. We're here. It's another Monday morning. Sky's looking pretty good. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff coming up here in a new location. Jeremy, how do you feel about your house? Uh, it's nice for me because I don't have to leave. Oh, hmm. But it sucks for me because I don't, I'm not working right now. So my office was your apartment for a while, and I get to be like, I'm going to work, and then I'd go to your house. Oh, that's what I was going to say is it's nice for me because now I pretend your house is my office. Right, but people talk about like, oh, people have no third location anymore. It's like home and work, but no one has a place to like meet their friends. But now I don't even have a second location. I've had a tap installed in your kitchen, and I uh, have beer in it like it's a wee work. Cool. Just me and your wife. Well, enough about that. We got a great show for you this week. You're going to love it. In our returning pantheon of second time guests, we have the Iron Hammer. Words. <laughs> what does that I mean? Need, I, I need to say no more like about. Communist? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you do, you hit hard, unlike an iron hammer, oh. uh, not unlike an iron hammer, and that is, of course, Claire O'Kane from t- t- Laughs at Large. Claire? Oh. Oh. Are all hammers iron? Not, I don't think so. You could have a steel one. Oh. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's poking holes in my iron hammer name, <laughs> which is free money on the table for you. Yeah, you could use that if you yeah, want. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. If this goes viral. Nobody knows what to do with their merch anymore, and now you know it's just a hammer. You know, it doesn't sound good in the mouth, though. Claire the Iron Hammer. Claire it's the hard to Iron say. Hammer. <laughs> Claire the Iron Hammer. <laughs> Claire, thank you for coming to Iowa. I'm such a fan of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see Claire the Iron Hammer. Everybody hell no come on hill. Uh, great apartment. Happy to be here. Thank mm. you. More, it's my house, yeah. and I make the rules. Yeah. Don't resist him. <laughs> I walk in, and I go, oh, yeah, a woman lives here as well. <laughs> well, you're quite perceptive, aren't you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. How did it get so nice? Um, You know what? A big part of it was that we have a big clock that I insisted in buying. And oh, my, my wife, God. My wife kept being like, what about this clock? And I'd be like, too small. And I found the biggest clock I could find, and then it stopped working because it's been like five years, and I'm too lazy to go up there and fix it. And that's but why it's, it's really so clean. Big. Yeah, it's really big. You're saying that's why it's clean and nice in here? Uh, it's a big clock. Yeah, I think, that's, I think that's what it is. I think the glow <laughs> of the clock, which is... 
very large, makes it feel like we're in like a the '90s Batman movies for some reason. Yeah, it, I can see that. It's stuck on time to clean. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's just it's permanently uh, eight forty-five. It's got Tim Burton font. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for real, for real. And I think real. that sets the vibe of the apartment. Yeah. Because of the clock being big, not and you can nice see it from outside. Not the nice plants or the. No. General. Certainly not the nice. Half of them are fucking fake. First that of all, that one's fake. That's the <laughs> only fake one. This house is bullshit. <laughs> Grandma style. These plants are lies. <laughs> <laughs> we kept having plants die over there. Mm-hmm. Put a fake one. Now, Claire, you've been on the show before. We don't have to explain Cora to you. No. You b- <laughs> breathe it and live it every day of your life. Yeah. And so you totally get it. But what if someone is listening for the first time? Nope. That's, just I buy the numbers not happening. <laughs> 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 I feel pretty confident in that one. Uh <laughs> Uh, it's the show where we go on Quora, and every week has a theme since season yes. three. Oh, and things are so different now. Season four, season four is, four. well, it is season four, oh, but yeah. season three <laughs> started this invention that has kind of changed the entire game, and each week is themed, and this week's theme is Earthly Delights. Oh. <laughs> beep, beep, get in the school bus. It's time for Earthly Delights. Um, I think last time you said the questions were too easy. So this Maybe. time... Hopefully, these are more difficult questions for you. I'm sure these should be. challenge you to your very yeah. core as well. I'm you're getting me when like bot like my body is breaking down in every way. <laughs> it's I'm sweating, I'm sure. shitting, I'm pissing. What uh-huh. happens to the iron hammer when the hammer gets hit back? <laughs> <laughs> the nails have joined forces. <laughs> she crumbled. You've had it too good for too long. You've had it too good. <laughs> Uh, well, of course, we will start the episode by going to last week's question. No, before that. Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, and this is going to be four. huge for you. This is new. Uh, we've started doing advice segments, and uh, this is a cynical ploy to attract listeners on YouTube, and it's working hand over fist. And that's why we'll be getting this show with everyone's favorite segment, Tips for Them. <laughs> Tips for them. Thank you. Do you have any tips for non-binary people at the start of the show? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I think, uh, honestly, have they them pronouns. That's my number one tip. Okay. Starter kit. Change your pronouns to they, them, if you haven't already. <laughs> Check the bio. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, no one talks about day one stuff like this, and this is, like, for real where it yeah. all got started. Right. Mm. For not binary people? Yeah. yeah. The pronouns. Otherwise, they're it. calling you other stuff. That's true. Sorry. <laughs> you got to change it. Do you have any advice for non-binary people? Uh, yeah. If you get hot in the day because it's so hot outside, you can shower twice. That's good advice. Yeah. Oh, uh, you yeah, don't have totally. to be a big fat guy. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can be one, but also you just get in there. There's no shame in blasting it a second time, baby. I didn't cool. realize it didn't have to be about being. Nope. <laughs> we really threw. We you didn't in give there. you any uh, lead up to that. <laughs> well, in that case, I, I'll rescind my. Advice. Okay, so don't change. Advice it. rescinded. <laughs> and say, uh, uh, before you water your plants, just make sure the soil is uh, isn't still wet from the last time. Oh, that's okay, advice. that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I actually didn't know that about plants as well. So forget about the pronoun changing parts. Uh, shower you twice. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. And then da- check the dampness on a plant. And get a big clock. <laughs> <laughs> It's changed everything, Jeremy. And you make the rules. That's right. All right. Let's go to Quora.com. That's big money. What did we ask last week? Last week we asked. Is there just a big picture of a guy shitting his pants when you open that? (laughs) Yes. Okay, just checking. (laughs) Okay, yeah. Do you believe in karma and then just a picture of a guy shitting his pants? Uh, Yeah, we're not going to read the rest of that. Nope. Um, The question we asked last week was, how do soldiers celebrate Christmas? Um, one rifle at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just put a big, <laughs> a big photo that Santa having a gay party that says "Holiday Gay." That has to be one of our listeners. I'm assuming you're from the show, and it's disrespectful, is what it is. Um, so Cora, for some reason, decided to add like dozens of qu- answers onto this from other similar questions. That huh. is not what we wanted. There was a really good answer somewhere, though. 
Oh, where is the answer? Uh, someone said when you're a trained killing machine, you don't have time to celebrate stupid holidays. Okay, yeah, that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Yeah. Um, and then another guy answered a question that was similar. That was how do soldiers in different countries celebrate Christmas? And he says, correct question. How do soldiers from different Christian nations celebrate Christmas? Answer, serve and find out. I have very little patience for poorly worded questions. Sounds like somebody got toasted. Toasty! Thanks, Coasty Serve Soundboard. Serve and find out. Serve and find out. <laughs> Serve and find out if you want to know, wow. I would say. Yeah. I'd say if you want to know, probably join the army and enjoy Christmas. You That's bitch. my actually advice for non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> Serve and find out. Serve and find out with it. <laughs> Piece of shit. Go in the army. Oh, damn. You guys ever think about joining the army? In, no. All the time. Absolutely not. Blows. It's funny how we had different responses Absolutely to not. that. Yeah. I think that a lot of the problems in my life would kind of be streamlined if I just turned to violence. Cool. Yeah. Mm. But it takes a while. You can't be violent right away. I mean, I'd have to, like, practice hitting, I guess. Yeah. When I was a kid, like, in elementary school or whatever, when, like, the Iraq War was starting up, my big fear in life was being drafted into the war and dying. You As, got, like, a child. A I was like, they're going to take me. You had, yeah. a, you had a perfect body. <laughs> yeah. As a <laughs> very small boy. <laughs> it's like turning down Master Chief leaving you at school. God We can damn. stretch him out. <laughs> yeah, so that was my, my number one fear in life. Veritable Stretch Armstrong going away. <laughs> Good Lord. You know, honestly, by this point, I feel like I'm kind of too old to worry yeah. about it. No, yeah. yeah They'd totally. have to make me the aged general, which is not a position I would turn down. No, you'd be a good general. I do feel like my backup as comedy is like strategy mastermind. <laughs> Sometimes I'm next. like, if the CIA wasn't so bad, right? Mm. it'd be so fun to work for the CIA. I've had sure. <laughs> this conversation with so many different yeah. people. <laughs> it'd be so fun to be a spy. Yeah. Ben Wasserman know. is like, I could kill a lot of guys. He says that so much. <laughs> he does say it. He's in a dark place. <laughs> Shouts out. But uh, yeah, sneaking is fun, and they do have a monopoly on that. Yeah. Spies. Yeah. If there was like another agency, mm. like a fun one. Like a cool one. <laughs> like a cool yeah, yeah, yeah. CIA. Like a good yeah. one. Yeah. Like they sneak presents under the tree. Yeah. <laughs> it may just be me looking directly at pictures of Santa in the last five minutes. So I, put that in there, but I think that would be a good federal agency to have. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, this week's theme is earthly delights, and I cannot wait to explore them with you, our guest. Uh, what's our first segment, Jeremy? Forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge. Please hold. Dare you enter the world of the strange? <laughs> To see the forbidden. Um, sure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Um, this question is: Why do I feel like I have a wolf inside of me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Your comedian Ben Wasserman. Uh, uh, um. So this person has only one. Uh, this, this was their, their only, only question, question, and then they wolfed out. Yeah, they left. <laughs> Their paws would not let them type anymore. Why do I feel like I have a wolf inside of me? Um, It's hustle and it's grind. I know that. For sure. I know that's the startings of it. Do you feel like you have a wolf inside of you, Alex? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, It's like a min- sure. money-making wolf? Famously, and I have seen the comments on this, people do say this, but people have two wolves inside of them, and one is a cowardly wolf, and another mm. is a mm. prideful lunatic. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I definitely feel a um, a sinful wolf. Sure. That urges me to and make. And this wolf is inside of you. Yeah, like ferocious. Not like sexually. Not like, okay. Yeah. It's not not like the f- one that's eyes bugs out and the tongue gets really long like a <laughs> carpet. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is one of the wolves that you oh, could okay. have. You could have that wolf. In like you. that's yeah. a bad wolf, but people definitely have that. Yeah. That's I've like a seen famous people wolf? do that. Yeah, it's got to be some of a wolf you read about. Okay, all right, all right. So like one of the the one that tried to like blow down the houses or something. Yeah, that's a no, that's a impulsive wolf. Okay. Yeah. Does Wolverine count? Wolverine he's, does not he's count. A Wolverine. He's a Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's he's famously true. not a wolf. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a Wolverine? They're kind of gnarly. I think right. at the zoo. They look like. They're fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like the what I picture the Tasmanian devil to be like. Yeah. But then the Tasmanian devil in real life is kind of cute with it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm looking up Wolverine. I'm going to put animal at the end so I don't get the guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a fucked up raccoon it's like kind of. a fucked of. up raccoon. He's mm. a good guy. Do you think like the, the man Wolverine should have picked a different animal? No. no. <laughs> Hugh Jackman didn't know Wolverines were real animals? That can't uh, be Australians real. are... That's true. They got their own shit over there. It, oh. It's a totally different Is bio. that a kind of tarantula, he asked? <laughs> now, I see we've done a lot of exploring on Vanity Fair. Sorry. What does Quora say about why I have wolves inside of me? Everyone says that there's two wolves inside of us. Okay. Like, like Barbara Davis, who's an old woman, says... Household name. All we, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, we all have the two wolves inside us. Stop feeding the one that leaves you only, howling in rage and aggressive. Feed the pack animal that identifies the needs of your pack and fills the space. Work as a team. Avoids the moon. Uh-huh, honey. Uh-huh, that's from, I had that's to from sound Barbara. too quiet, oh, she's not but uh-huh, I thought she was And also, um, Wario. Oh, baby! Oh, baby, you have two wolves. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh, in that that question. I'm like, oh, I think they feel it feels like they. I'm interpreting it as they're gonna feel like they're gonna burst and hurt somebody or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I thought it, it was does. Too. It implies that there is a wolf trying to get out, but no one has answered, including myself, why there is a wolf. There's a long yeah. answer here about other kin that we probably shouldn't get into. I'm kind of interested. Is that like witchy shit? Otherkin is like people who believe that they are like. I'm. I'm gonna get this it's a wrong. Sexual wolfing. It's like a, a. It's a sexual wolfing. It's like an old Tumblr thing from when we were like all in high school. I feel yeah. like. Mm. It's a sexual wolf. We were getting different <laughs> Tumblr algorithms. Fair I enough. Think. <laughs> yeah, we're not all on Jeremy's Tumblr. <laughs> I posted about this a lot. But I would say, in short, I think it does go back to the wolf whose eyes pop out and his tongue goes all the way down to the floor. Yeah. Yeah. That's the wolf I identify with. Right. And understand. And that's perfectly natural. I think the reason why is it's perfectly natural. This guy, David Holloway, says, first of all, you don't have access to a wolf's experience, so you couldn't know if you have a wolf inside you. Yes! First of all, <laughs> get him! <laughs> he says, so what do you think a wolf is like? Low and aggressive hunter? Intelligent yes. pack animal? Do not speak for wolves. <laughs> and then Anne, Anne commented on David's post and said, I would speak to a doctor about this. Good luck. Yes. Serve and oh find out. Oh, my God. Serve and find out. How dare you say that you're a wolf? <laughs> I'm going to be saying serve and find Until out Until you've walked a mile in his paws. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say. Look at that cute cat over there. He's That's Milo. Out. He has one lung. Yeah. He's, oh, he's he chilling. One, lung? one yeah. of them's collapsed. He has we think. One, one lung and one wolf. Is he old? No. He's just fucked up. He's just a little shouty. When we got him, he was in a hoarding situation, so his Ay, his lung was all messed me. up. Yeah, he replaced his lung with a Funko Pop. Nice. Hoarding. <laughs> hoarding. He's situation. got a wolf inside of him. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. Okay. The answer is it's perfectly natural. Now, this might be a difficult question for you. Okay. Do you enjoy being a woman? <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> i like that i could do that at this uh, yeah. apartment if you're not watching the video i shoved my mic across I the room again. into claire <laughs> try it do it again <laughs> um we're hitting mics so they're saying do you as in they're just do you enjoy whoever, being a woman do you does any it? do you do you guys? I certainly don't. I don't enjoy being a woman on account of I'm not. I don't have that right. experience. You don't have that experience. You haven't served. I am a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am a wolf. Uh, I don't. I, I enjoy being a alive. Sure. I don't think I enjoy be, particularly being a woman. It's a little harder to kind of do the things specifically that I want to do mm -hmm. in the entertainment industry. Sure. It mm. feels like. Do you ever hear that music coming on though? It's like ba ba na 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 na. -na. <laughs> when you just walk around. Let's yeah. go, girls. That's what my farts sound yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> like that sounds fun. I've do always you guys, thought. What do you guys think being a woman is like? I think Alex thinks that that song is playing. <laughs> yeah, often. yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's fucking tits up. Mm, I don't know. Sure. Do you think it would be harder? I or? think that you probably have to deal with a lot of like. 
people insisting there's a large clock in your home. Yeah. <laughs> um, the assumptions. <laughs> yeah. A podcast. Yeah. 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 Mm. I say you have to go to the office today because we're doing a podcast in our living room. <laughs> right. This isn't about On anyone Saturday. in particular. <laughs> This could be anybody. Um, All women have to deal with these things. Well, I would like to hear the Quora answers from okay. the oh, yeah. real live Anonymous women. says, in all caps, bolded with several exclamation points, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun. So that's pretty cool. Um, someone else says, "Hope." on the other hand, Hope says, generally, yes. Okay. okay. Periods suck and pregnancies freak me out, but I like being me. I like yeah. dressing up and doing my hair and using makeup. I like chicklet and chicklet and terrible soap operas. Chicklet, chicklet, chicklet. I love chicklet, I, which I think means like girl books. Yeah. I like dancing and singing in dresses. I like pink and puppies. I like my shapes and my long hair. Pink and puppies. Pink and puppies. <laughs> and all those things I'm told I can't do because I'm a woman. Fuck it, I do it anyways. Okay. So ba- that's kind of ba- calling out da- Claire. Da- 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 Whoa. <laughs> You're kind of writing directly back to Claire. It feels like. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, f- I'm like, fuck it. I'll do whatever. Uh-huh. I'm, and I'm pink and puppy sometimes. <laughs> but then also sometimes I'm like, shit and fart. Yeah, as well. Sure. Probably on a daily basis almost. Yeah. Um, pregnancies freak me out it's as well. It's crazy. You ever let a man in your inside of you like an elevator? That's pretty much what a pregnancy is. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to have to explain that comment, but I feel like I have to now, which is that a baby t- uses you like an elevator into uh, the world. Okay, well, when you said you let a man inside of you, I'm thinking... Well, that's just ca- sex. Yeah, sex. that's sure. But then you're like, oh, a little man goes... <sighs> Bing! <laughs> Get in, gets in. And then they, you know, tear open the Nine door. Nine months later. Yeah. 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 Right. Into a floor called life. Wow. Yeah. And they never go back in. And that would freak me out. But also, it would be kind of based. It's basically like that scene from The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> when all the stuff comes out. Of the elevator. That's right. That's very intellectual. I'll say this. One one person says, uh, after seeing the results of a man being kneed in the groin, I'm so grateful to lack male genitalia. Genitalia. Sorry. Genitalia. <laughs> the kneeing was like watching a nuclear bomb of pain go off in slow motion. No, Seriously. It's not. It takes not like bravery that. to be a man. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I think men have a, a, a lower pain threshold. Yeah. In general, because they don't have to give birth. Mm-hmm. Mm. So they're just a little more. That's true. I do think it's um a structural oopsie to put balls outside of the body because it, 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 it hurts sure. so bad. Yeah. Lock those up. I know it's like a temperature reason, and that's why they're outside, but I don't know. Put a bubble in there or something. God, what the fuck? <laughs> this seems like such a mistake. Uh, like a mesh sort of. <laughs> put a bubble. <laughs> a bag. We all know what I mean. <laughs> I Get an elevator in there. <laughs> I feel like as a child, I was constantly taking a soccer ball to the crotch to everyone's amusement. And that was like my number one thing. Okay. And I didn't like that. Well, people act like getting kicked in the pussy doesn't hurt. It does. I do act Mm -hmm. like that all the time. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. (laughs) Um, Lots of yeses and lots of noes on here. So uh, no one one agrees about whether they like being a woman. Mm. It's a land of contrasts. Wow. But in a way, it is an earthly delight. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay. I'm going to read another. Oh, this is our uh, moving completely different. This is our segment on uh, incels, the cloaker. What will arrive here on the darkest corners of the internet? That's, of course, a song that Alex wrote. It's about my friend Naruto. <laughs> uh, why am I a god, but I always lose fist fights? Um, you're the god of losing. You the god of sucking <laughs> ass at fist fights. <laughs> you, you suck so bad, dog. I think yeah. that's a reasonable answer. That's a reasonable. Answer. There's one sure. answer, and it's got a big picture of a bunch of fighting guys on it, which I like. The person who asked this was named Solo Sexual. Cool. You are in the right segment, my dude. <laughs> um, and he has a lot of questions about this. He says, why am I the greatest God to ever exist? Why am I the president of the United States, but no one knows my name? 
Whoa, Whoa, that's more specific. I thought we were working in the world of metaphors, but now it's implied he's Joe Biden. <laughs> he's secret Nobody Joe Biden. Me. He's Joe Biden, but he thinks no one knows who he is. <laughs> yeah. By the way, great screen name, uh, secret <laughs> Joe Biden. I can't, I can't win these fist fights. <laughs> I'm a god. <laughs> I'm a golden god. <laughs> he says, why does every job on earth want to fire me after one second of working? That's so funny. This is <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> this is Joe Biden. <laughs> That's about him. Rubbing it. I didn't know he was losing Wait. fights. He's always challenging people. Someone said, why don't most got Biden supporters... Why don't most Biden supporters don't know they're hated? And he responded, I'm a god. <laughs> <gasps> I that think is it's Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Solo sexual. Solo sexual. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool as hell. We found him. Wow. Cool. I mean, that's I like him a little more now that I know he's yeah, he's a Quora guy. He's a so Quora guy. You're losing sure. fist fights because you're 82 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for writing. Yeah, this. yeah, that's why. Because you fall down when you get up initially. <laughs> you can't stand up. Your bones are made of raisins. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I would like to all the answers, answers here are just like you're actually not a god, oh. yeah. so you're wrong. Actually, about that. God is God, so yeah, unless you were him, which I don't think you are because he would win a fight, he Definitely. wins all of his fist fights. Yeah, <laughs> God could beat your ass. <laughs> he created the sea and won the knockout game. This guy, Avatar, <laughs> says, Being a god, which I doubt you are, <laughs> only no, a tactical I advantage. highly <laughs> doubt that. <laughs> I don't believe you, although who knows? Piece of shit. I got. I just realized I got to send an important text. Oh yeah, sure. Feel free. Do it. I'm not gonna stop Continue. you. I'm gonna keep talking about this guy who's secretly Joe Biden. Uh, possible. No, we absolutely do not have to pause. I mean, there's so many more good Quora answers okay. to read. Um, Beverly Morris says, "Hi, solo sexual. Gods don't fight. You should have a spiritual aspect of life. Love all people, and you'll be loved in return." Gods do fight. Gods do fight. Historically, Zeus. all gods fight. Zeus. Yeah. That's like their big thing. Hercules, Hercules. Hercules. Secret son, secret Zeus son. Sexual solo, solo sexual. Um, Possibly your godliness has an aspect that isn't any use in a scuffle. That's what I was also going to say. If you're a god of, say, fridge compressors, that won't help any in a fist fight. It looks like someone works on fridge compressors. (laughs) What a weird poll. Spot the fridge compressor operator. (laughs) Um, did you read American Gods? I like this answer real quick. Joshua Robinson says, because you're a pussy that won't shut the fuck up. That was better than whatever I was going to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's for real. That kind of puts the nail in the coffin right there. Gunshot noise in a few seconds later. Um, one guy says, uh, have you ever heard the old English saying, you are a tosser? Okay, pretty good. Uh, 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 Shantala Shantala says, sword fight wins. I agree with that. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I think we covered this one. What were you saying about American Gods? Alex? No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> the lovely book. I don't want to talk about all the books I've read. <laughs> we get it. I'm reading them. Okay. Should we flip read another? up the page? Should we read another question? Yes, yes. Flip the page to the next question. I'm okay. done with my text. I this wonder what it's about. <laughs> Is it good? It's really not that important. Okay, all right. Just something I forgot to do. Um, this question is, are the genitals and sexual openings of the ladies on the show Naked and Afraid clearly visible to other male teammates? If so, how do they cope with it? So what I like about this question... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the show. What I like yeah. about this question is it's asked by someone who sounds like they watch the show, but also they don't know what happens in it. Right. I mean, first of all, they are afraid. So they're not coping well in, in general. No, no. They're not just naked. They're afraid. I had, and I hate to say this as a sentence, an extended stand-up comedy joke about Naked and Afraid five years ago. But the whole thing is for the fucking show. You know show, what? We have time. No, I'm not. The point is for the show. <laughs> they with Claire. start the show and they're like, <laughs> first of all, how's this crowd doing? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, date night? What are we looking at? We got Milo here. <laughs> we got Milo in the corner. What, sleeping? Come on. You don't, don't do crowd work. Do okay, your He's yeah. got one lung. <laughs> I hear someone here's got one lung. Audience member with one lung gets taken. <laughs> <laughs> if you interrupt, you have to leave. 
You have to you leave. Lauren's valuable lesson from audience member with one lung. Um, they start the show and they're paired up and they're like a little bit horny. And then they are. the right. elements take their toll on them almost immediately. They're and like horny that on is the show? Blasted out of them. Like they don't say that into the camera, but it's kind of like they're both like, oh, I wonder how we'll do in the woods. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I ate a mushroom that has poisoned me. And now oh, yeah. I've been throwing up for two days. <laughs> Are these like good people who know how to be in the woods? No. Okay, uh, well, usually what they'll do is they'll pair one person up who's like a Navy SEAL with like a lady who thinks she's a witch. And Great. then um, they'll both get sick. Great. And that's the show. Maybe I should watch that. It's good. Alone is better. I love Alone. Alone is way better. Um, Close in that show. Naked and Afraid's yeah. kind of fake because they have like the TV crew around them pretty much the whole time. Right, and they're like eating yeah. granola bars. On it, the side. It, it's like way more of a TV show. Alone is really an uh, insurance nightmare yeah. uh, situation. For real. I don't know how they get away with it. They keep getting away with it. Insurance. Has anybody been eaten by a bear on a loan? Not yet, but this season there are a lot of bears. I because they've they've had run-ins before where I'm like, if someone died, would you tell me? Like, <laughs> 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 would you just like not air it? And then uh, we never I think know. It, it wouldn't be like a grizzly man <laughs> situation. <laughs> sure. We're kind of hearing them get eaten. They first show the tape to Werner Herzog. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no how, one that's should ever watch this season. I don't <laughs> want to be alone. What do you like, Sage? Like, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> really interesting stuff. It's good content. So this person is worried about the women's holes being seen. Or they're just right. like, yeah. I, if I, my holes are being seen, I would be worried kind of thing. If you're Sexual caught in 4K. Of the ladies. I feel like you're, you, then they just have never seen like a hole. That does sound <laughs> that, like it. The hole they're talking about. Um, the question is, how do they cope with it? And they're, the way they cope with it is by getting like, very yeah. hungry and uh, cold. <laughs> And then they don't care anymore. And then they're not thinking about they're it. They're like they uh, all of that bl uh, blood that could go down there is redirected somewhere else. Yeah, unless mm -hmm. they think. Ab I I feel like can well, you get stuff up the hole like bugs? Oh, you can get infect. You could get bugs. You get a uh, you can get a pussy tarantula. You can get a pussy tarantula. And then you'd have going to go up the elevator. You get dick worms too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, going up the elevator. elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of Lucifer's trick <laughs> to twist Going God's up. plan. <laughs> That's what it says before it does the spider it. service. Going elevator. up. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, infection. <laughs> Some of these answers are very weird. First of all, all the answers are like, well, because adults who are mature don't care if they're naked. It's not a big deal to them. But I do feel like part of the show Wise. is like. Kind of crazy. They're naked, right? Like, yeah, you, I bet you're watching now, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah they should now. care that yeah. they're yeah. naked. Um, they're afraid. It's quite exciting. They're so scared. Um, uh, then there's this one very weird answer from Sean Crowell, who says, the sexual openings you're referring to are technically called nostrils. Shut the fuck up! And most <laughs> men have acclim acclimated themselves to prevent any unwanted erections from the sight of them. You know what Shut we're up, talking bitch. about, Sean Crowell. Shut up. I hate you Sean so much. Crowell. We're not selling it? LED... We're not buying LED lights, Sean Crowell, who works at LED Lighting I'm and gonna Sales. I'm going to say, Shut up, Sean. Yeah, get him. You know that's not what he's asking. Don't do it all caps. He'll think we're cringe. I'm going to say, you know that's not what the question was. Yeah, get him, Jeremy. Sean. Get and him. I put a Sean in there again so he knows that we're pissed. Okay. Yeah. Can you be like, um, there's the, is there any negative uh, consequence that could happen from disrespecting a quarter? Um, He could come to your house and kill you. Oh, My yeah. house isn't on there, though. Yeah, but he could listen to the podcast, figure it out pretty easily. I have a lot of fake things. Do you have a, a VPN? Or? Not no. up. You Currently. guys don't have VPNs? You, this guy was in Dallas, though. I do not have a VPN. I got to get a VPN. Yeah, when I go to so. other countries, I use yeah. a VPN so I can watch domestic Netflix. But that's You're not usually... watching. You got to watch British Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. I'm scared of what's going on over there. So Sean is selling LED lighting plan design <laughs> sales. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt with the to, to leave the Sean stuff. My He's, favorite thing about Sean is it says he studied strategy, parentheses, college major, at critical thinking. Yeah, and oh he's God. in this. He's a contributor to the space Trump is a criminal. Sean and I sound like we are two cuts of the same cloth. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> <laughs> 
My, I've met my match today. <laughs> well, you just told him to shut up. And I posted your address underneath it. No, you didn't. He didn't do that, folks. He didn't do that. He's lying. Um, this guy, Andy, says, clearly visible and exciting, so that's why the males fuck each other during competition. I don't think that's true, That's Andy. never happened once, Andy. There's Andy's a bio says, there. been masturbating since before you were born. Oh, I'd like what? to see the receipt, Tony. I, I could see that. I mean, there's a lot of blurred out photos that I'm not going to click on. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> the, one, the last question he's answered is, why is the scrotal sack always cool? And then, and then there's then a, a blurred, blurred photo. Image. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, has anyone man. actually had sex on Naked and Afraid? I, I don't think so. Because they know there's a fucking film crew there. <laughs> yeah, but why are they on the show in the first place? They want to be... They're they want a modeling career. Oh yeah, and the they want to be an REI in all of the pictures. <sighs> That'd be so awesome to be an REI model. <laughs> you can wear so many sweaters and hold so <laughs> many uh, shovels and so forth. Yeah, REI rocks. They're co-op. I love to go there. Me too. What a cool place. You ever sit in the tents? You ever just sit in those? Um, the in the tents in REI, do they have tents? Like Answer when I was my little, question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was reading Andy Collins' bio about jacking off, and I, I <laughs> forgot to answer. All right, read Andy's bio, and then we're going to move on. It's not that great. He says, I love sex. I also love to masturbate. I love to watch people having sex and love to be watched. I know how you feel. I have already been there. But if you're going to send me a message, at least fill out your bio. I realize you can write whatever you want people to see, but at least I can pretend you are what you and who, what and who you say you are. And every one of those sentences has an exclamation point. All right, man. Come on. We're done with this. And then all of his questions are like, Oh, I don't know if I should read oh, these. Read no, it. Read, read one. Read one. I'll read two of them. One of them is, why is it so hard to find someone willing to have sex with me? Oh. And another one is, my wife died of lung cancer and I'm not doing good. What can I do? No. What a dark turn. <laughs> Wait, what's their... Uh... And then he says, I just got these ball stretchers. <laughs> what's his username? Um, His, an his name is Andy Collins. It's just Collins. his real name. Yeah. I feel like I have to cut it now because it's really <laughs> sad. No, we're keeping it. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, his wife dies and now he's like figuring out that he likes ball stretchers. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's good. It's good to discover so things. Opened up a whole new world. Balls he, are so tight all the he time. He knows about <laughs> sex and he knows about penises, according to his bio. So if anyone is interested in Andy, hit him up. It's a recurring thing on this website he where I looking, feel like I'm oversharing someone's profile, but they are highlighting that they know about penises as the front first thing on their profile. Yeah, I, I don't. Not in a disparaging way. Andy is looking for a cock that he can suck and <gasps> then let fuck his ass. If anyone's out there, whoa, that's that what he's seem, looking for. It doesn't even seem like it's on like the qu correct Quora community. I guess is what gets. It's to on me. his own Quora community that he created called "Don't Take My Advice." All right. Well, in Jeremy's oh, house, like in Jeremy's house, Jeremy makes the rules, and in Andy's house, Andy makes the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's season cheeky. four. We we, we got to move on to another question. <laughs> Let's do our animal segment. Quora gone wild. Rawr. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to replace the actual sound with me just saying rawr. I didn't realize that was on the right board. Oh, this one has no answers on it, but it does have a thing that says there is help. Uh, you can contact a suicide hotline. Oh, no. The how question is, how does it feel when you swallow a live eel? Probably slimy. How does it feel? Why does Cora think that this person is trying to kill themselves? How does it feel <laughs> when you swallow an eel? <laughs> <laughs> there is help. <laughs> Contact the police. <laughs> you sound like the Riddler. <laughs> I, how does it feel when you swallow an eel? I don't know. Probably great. Um, yeah, probably like it's supposed to happen. It probably fits really good in <laughs> yeah. your stomach uh, tubes. I don't know that it's supposed to happen. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm saying it'll probably... What if it slithers all the uh -huh. way down and then the cartoon inside... Yeah. You gotta hold it like a on it by its tail too. Yeah, right? and then it goes through your, all your tubes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Uh, That'd addendum be kind of cool. To this question, Jeremy has discovered it was written by Mark Vore. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Who's Mark Vore? Well, so, Vore a guy is named Mark <laughs> who loves Vore. Vore is when you 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 do sex of of imagining being eaten or eating other things. Really? Or, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he. This is a sex. thing. It's a sex thing to swallow the eel. Because I guess eels are phallic, but they're really just living their lives. You know, I don't want to reduce them to that. I always forget that there are people who like like eating stuff as sexy. 
because I'm always only thinking of people putting shit up their butt. Yeah. Sure. The other, the other the side. The other side. Yeah. The other side of it. The thing about eating is you do it so much. <laughs> We're all on the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost the camera, by the <laughs> way. Oh, no. no. That's okay. All right, so now we're back. Thank you, and we're sorry about the interruption. Mark Four has a lot of interesting questions we're that I would like to Mark, read okay. in, read some more about. I want Fair to hear enough. more questions. Please. From Mark Four. Mark asks, when prey is swallowed whole, what can kill it once it is in the digestive tract? Prey. Probably all your organs, Mark. Good question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Mark asks, would you die if you swallowed an eel? So he's he actually really didn't ask interested. that. He did not ask that. Someone, Robert Hirschgear asked that, and then Mark shared it and said, this really interesting question. Okay, so thank you for correcting me on that. That is true. He's, he's sharing and liking it. Uh, have you tried to swallow live prey? How does it feel when you swallow live eel? That's what we're doing now. And then that seems like all he's done, but these are all pretty recent. Yeah, I can follow him. Yeah. Uh, we're his first Moore. follower. Nice. Shouts out to Mark Vor. Mark Army, line up. Is or, your uh, uh, profile curators? It's Alex Patak. It's Alex oh, okay, Patak. <laughs> great. <laughs> so he'll know that it's Alex. Uh, it is a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're boy. We're catching on to my games. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we'd be, I should wear a suit or something for that. But um, eh, whatever. Uh, what I was going to say is in the filming of Old Boy, they mm. had that guy eat a live squid yes and they reshot the scene three times and he's a vegan <gasps> yeah Ugh. and so he had to like actually bite a squid to death three times which is really upsetting but that's dangerous to eat a squid isn't it or eat to eat a octopus yeah to, like suck your yeah shit it, out. it's trying to suck your shit try to go down <laughs> on you bro yeah try to get gay with you a little bit <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to eat an octopus you also, can get like, gay with you kind it, of octopus an octopus can like open a jar from the inside so I'd be worried about like yeah he's gonna open your jar bro for real up. bro yeah <laughs> I think my, that can happen this is my new character we're on homophobic guy who doesn't like octopuses okay bro let's hear it <laughs> he's gonna open your jar bro <laughs> he's gonna go in there you want him to open your jar <laughs> probably go go straight for your dick once he's in there Damn. once he's inside Sure. From the inside out. Yeah, go in from the inside out. He uses puzzle knowledge. He's he's gonna make you come him. <laughs> this is an exciting new character. I like this character, and I'm excited to see his rise to fame. <laughs> in a few years from now, we'll see him on SNL. There he is. It's it's the famous character homophobe who thinks. You're eating a hawk. But octopus. he works at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. He has an exciting background. Uh, his father was a marine biologist. Oh. And here's Andy Samberg playing him. We brought him back. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good to say at any point in this show. Well. Let's Very another, cool, I'm guys. I'm going to another one of these answers before, uh, I don't know, another question. we hear more about this character <laughs> until we develop wild. more of his backstory. What state do you think he's from? <laughs> <laughs> Wyoming. Yeah. Wyoming. Because he's saying, why do they got to go down on you like that? The octopuses, I mean. He has a dark past. Yeah. he likes. To oh, we're still talking about the character <laughs> or, or Vore? No, yeah. No, this is Alex's no. character. Okay. This is a character. It's okay, like no. Four. We're moving on. Mark Vore is a real guy. Here's a question. Could a human run as fast as a dog if they were to run on all four? Absolutely, yes. yes. Is that? How what? do you know? No. How Why do I are know? You so? <laughs> they're even bigger. <laughs> how could it not? They being human <laughs> beings, they're even bigger, and their arms are even longer, and so they could run even faster. Yeah. Okay. Like what? How fast do apes run? <laughs> I don't know. You know when when like Planet of the Apes when yeah. they run on their on they their jump. knuckles? Well, they do also ride horses in that. Well, that's even faster than yeah. a dog. I mean, like, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> well, it is obviously the answer is no. Right. But like, it would be very funny if some like professional athlete figured out that actually he could run faster and then yeah. just like was in the Olympics, just like just fucking destroying everybody. I've seen girls run like a horse. Well, there are people, yeah, online who yeah. Uh, and, like weird Rogan-y kind of guys who are like, actually, if you yeah. walk on all fours, you I don't know. Primitive strength. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Get yeah. Get closer to the center of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Brain. Unlock yeah. your ancestor's you. power. <laughs> 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 Buy my leash that I sell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I'm we, interested to hear what the answers are on this, but oh, I say sure. yes, 100%. Yeah, I definitely. say yes someday. This guy <laughs> says it's very easy to try and see. Okay. So I he mean, says, I don't think I could. Serve and find out. What with all, all of us on our phones all the time, hunched <laughs> over, soon we'll be touching the ground, that's and right. that's how we'll have to walk. <laughs> serve and find out. Serve and yeah. find out. It'll be like Wally. <laughs> it's pretty like much Wally. what Wally was about, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the room has seen it. But <laughs> I've seen Wally. Wally. Wow. It's so God. fun to do the voice. Cute. Um, ben Bacon says, no, obviously we run fastest on two legs. There are only a relatively few dog breeds that can beat the fastest humans in a foot race. That's that not true. true. Oh, what like, about like a greyhound? Yeah, something? I feel like most dogs can beat me in a race, but maybe. Well, you're not the fastest human. Well, I guess I'm, we have. You know uh, what? That's a good point. We have a. Uh, uh, what is that? When I, when you, <laughs> I can't think anymore. <laughs> a, a sprint, uh, Usain Bolt? <laughs> no. Eh, forget it. Okay. <laughs> All I want to say is that dogs are very fast and I respect them. I'm just saying that if we could <laughs> unlock this potential, that it would alternate the running. The speed timeline. Yeah. Mm. Or I was going to say, we, we evolved, animals evolved to be standing upright with two legs because we were, and that made us better at running away from vores or whatever. Right. From, <laughs> from, from Mark, from Mark Vore, <laughs> yeah. who is going to come to Alex's house and shoot him. Yeah. A bear who tries to eat us alive. Yeah. Wow. Wouldn't want to run into him in the woods. Me neither, pal. <laughs> mm. um, dogs can run very fast. Um, that's true. That's my favorite part about them. That's <laughs> one of their best attributes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have so much respect for dogs. Yeah, I really do. Uh, I was just looking at Ben Bacon's <laughs> profile, but it's not really that interesting. Oh, I was trying to finish my thought here. Ben oh, yeah. Bacon, so negative and so confident that I wanted to believe him, but then he immediately said that thing about how dogs are less fast than people normal, which I know to not be true. So <laughs> I actually don't believe a fucking word he said. He also is a contributor to Snarkville. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. I've been there before. <laughs> Snarkville? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I don't want to go back. <laughs> I feel like we're there right now. <laughs> This podcast took a left turn to snark. <laughs> uh, okay, here's another question. Okay, would you recommend a hamster for someone with autism? Mm, sure. Yeah. Stim with the hamster. Yeah, that's well, nice. fun. If you're holding the hamster, you'll give it shaken hamster syndrome. Oh, that's a really dangerous one. It can break its hamster body. But at the same time, so here's the thing about hamsters is they require specific shids. care. It's not like a dog or a cat or something where you just kind of like leave a bowl out. Like you have to go create a little terrarium for it. Totally. So I, it depends on the severity of the autism. Um, and if it's if it's like a fully functional person, then yeah, mm -hmm. and recommend a hamster. Sure, they'll love that. They'll love to, to create, to engineer designs. <laughs> Yeah, or like to make little tunnels. Yeah, the tunnels. I see yes. why they're asking. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's tunnels. like, is it is it a good idea to give my friend with autism an engineering project? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is alive. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. also, if they die, that's on your hands, and the blood, the hamster blood, is on your hands. Yeah. Sure. Someone else says no. I would recommend a cat. I. I think hamster is a good answer. I mean, I just like having cats in general. Yeah. Um, Sue says, uh, by all means, I'm autistic and hamsters are one of my special interests. Yeah. Snapping for Sue. Cool. Snap Sue's picture is her. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sue, so she's more rock. of a hedgehog person. Yeah, that's true. She likes, oh, she hedgehog. likes Sonic. She's, her bio oh, says rodents. Sonic the Hedgehog is my quote thing. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. And Good I'm for an you. Android I wish geek. I had a thing. <laughs> How do you go about Shadow the Hedgehog? You can What's make that? Shadow. That's the it, it's like Sonic, but if he's black. If you have to ask, honey, <laughs> he's like black. He Eddie, has a gun. He has sometimes. a gun. <laughs> you can't be Sonic because that's Sue's thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll Sonic. Do, for what you. about Tails? Well, you, I feel like you Tails, Tails is a Tails very is safe like choice. A lot of people sing. It's sure. Also, if you're Tails, that's like kind of, and I don't know if this is out of line to say, but if liking Tails too much, pedophile coded because <laughs> honestly, because <laughs> Tails in that. the universe is like the only one who's like, Child. I'm a ball. I'm a little. I'm underage. Yeah. Who's the doctor? Not Doctor Robotnik. No, that's right. Is that right? Doctor yeah. Eggman. Yeah. They give him two Robotnik. names. It's confusing. He's Egg, hot. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
Do you, Body. Do you like yeah. when he's Jim Carrey or otherwise? Otherwise. Uh, sure. Yeah. He's like really big and I like when really he's... tiny legs. Yeah. Jim Carrey's like chewing the furniture in that movie. He's like, he leaves, he spares no expense at becoming Dr. Eggman. <laughs> he's like put the whole thing on his back. I think he's on Quarators probably. Jim Carrey? Or uh, not Quarators. <laughs> on Quarators. Oh, we've done so many with Jim. <laughs> I, would be, I think I would know if Jim Carrey was he's on Quarators. He's probably on Quora. Oh, I would Jim Carrey. So. He's yeah. uh, he left Twitter after uh, he was fighting so much with Mussolini's granddaughter. So maybe Wait, he went what? To Quora. I didn't know that. <laughs> Pro or anti? <laughs> this is a famous uh, Twitter moment. Is like 2018, 2019. Oh. He's he posted a thing that was like, if you want to know where fascism leads, ask Benito Mussolini and his girlfriend. And then a picture of their corpses hanging upside oh. down from a streetlight. And then <laughs> Benito Mussolini's granddaughter, who was on Twitter and is an Italian pod- politician, said, you are a bastard. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> Which is a very funny social dynamic to have. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think you were smoking. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> you say green son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, shout out to Sue. Shout out to Sue. Sonic's her thing. You um, rock. Claire's into Shadow, though. Yeah, I guess I'm into Shadow. Oh, no, Dr. Eggman. You're into Dr. Egg- Eggman. Man. Chaos Control, right? Uh, yeah. Right? That's Shadow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think. Chaos Control? That's what he says. That's scary. You get the emeralds. Yeah, he's bad. He's like an evil Sonic he's made in a like lab. like Punisher vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with Metal Sonic, who is also an evil Sonic made in a lab. I we didn't know must there were multiple move on. Sonics. <laughs> There's t- we're backed in ass first to Sonic okay. lore again. Let's do Quoro Vets. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sorry, they're both pink buttons. I'm getting labels. The labels are, <laughs> y'all of you complain too much, and now I'm getting labels. Nobody else. Do you look for love? Um, this question is, I feel that most men are secretly gay, but due to society, can't accept or admit it. Am I wrong? Are they wrong? I, most? most? Secretly gay. Secretly gay. I think they're, everyone's a little gay. Mm-hmm. Is it a secret? Is it the best kept Disney secret? It might be. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are the guys. Is that Mickey's getting down like that? Alex did start one of our episodes one time by saying that it was a secretly gay podcast. That was a bonus episode. Oh. I don't really know what that means. I, I didn't uh, know at the time. That's fine. The paywall. You got to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I think um, most uh, uh, like Bible thumping mm, evangelical men. I see what you mean. That if you're in the closet. If you are very vocally anti-gay, that's a sign that you may be repressing your homosexuality. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. So in that case, um, how many people out of all of them is that? Probably five percent. Yeah, no, it's most. Very strong Christian men. Five percent. No, I know the secretly gay part. I'm oh. I'm I'm testing the hypothesis. Jeremy, okay, please. Um, so that isn't enough to single-handedly sweep the demographic, but I think that, um, yeah, everybody, I think like if you, everybody, if we could move to like Bonobo society where like you jack off people for like money, um, this is what happens in Bonobo society, like yeah. the monkeys, not the clothing store. No, not, it has well, they jack to do people, the they store. jack each other off and then for they cash? shake hands. Yeah. And, and they, then they shake hands with it and they're like, Oh, you kind of sticky with it. Um, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you ever buy a shirt of Bonobos? As, as, see how they want you to pay. <laughs> see how they want you to pay when you get a new pair of chinos, pal. <laughs> you got to jack me off. <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are good pants. What, how do you want to pay for them? How do you want to pay for them? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to recline here. What was the beginning here. of this, this anecdote? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. But yeah, they're, they're gay as the day is long. <laughs> the Buckies. No, what? Or the people? People are. Men. The people are gay. Men are secretly gay. Yes. Most of them. Men are secretly gay. The society most society most men are secretly gay. I mean, how could they resist? I, one answer here just says yes. Well, that says yes, I am I wrong is the question. No, this, yes. Oh. Do we think oh. that it's like sexuality is like gender and like the way where it's like, quote unquote, 50-50 or it's like. Half of the world is... The Riddler's coin? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> or two faces coin rather. Like uh, half of the world is gay. Sure. Half of the world is straight. And then there's like the middle. I, I, I I've never heard this. Well, you know, like <laughs> half his heads, half his tails, right? I guess Claire? when when they when someone's like, How many men are in the world? How many women are in the world? And uh-huh. it's, it's like right. implied that it's like Close to sure. half and half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. that one I'm on board with. Yeah. Do you th- do you think that <laughs> that it's like that was would be like maybe as well? Yeah. I mean like that doesn't. I don't know why that would. <laughs> be easy. Said, so we know that sex is determined by the the X and Y chromosomes. Right. Sure. That, this would be the gay chromosome, which I think <laughs> a lot of like Christian scientists have been looking for. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's. So I think most people are queer a little bit. Right. I'm, I'm on board. Yeah. So no. Yeah. So yes. The and majority. Secret it. And am I wrong? No. You're on to something. <laughs> it's the ri- it's two faces coin, my friend. Flip it. <laughs> it's two faces. <laughs> um, people are very upset about this. Somebody this says question. start oh, with really? the studies, which I without reading any of the rest of their answer, a hundred percent. I feel like if you're a guy and someone's like, "Do you think most men are secretly gay?" And you're like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> Yeah. That's just the answer is yes. Actually, yeah. you can not prove me. that you're actually not by get, going. Actually, they we all are, and I'm the first one who admits it. So you know I how know. I know you're gay <laughs> <laughs> when you. <laughs> I don't know. This guy Troy says. I see Ask what a you're question. Saying. I'll call Wait, that's, that's so true. Mm. Mm. Gay men are just guys is one of the answers. Where is it? Wait, really? Gay men are just guys. Wow. This is from Brian Quimby? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, Troy Hammond says, a lot of us are bi, but you are right. Society makes it hard. And then his bio or his, his qualification says, been there and done it. Oh, all right. Yeah, so I believe it. Kind of served and found out. He did. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. I think we've talked enough about that question. Yeah. Now that we got to the whole... Um, Bonobo's aspect. Yeah. kind of made me think of that octopus guy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear him. Let's hear him. <laughs> no, I'm not now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I forgot his whole thing. Oh, he's homophobic oh, to right, octopuses. Right. He thinks they're going to suck him off. But he works at a does. Keep that beak away from me. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. (laughs) Uh, This question is, what's it like being a really tall man to the point where a woman can give you head while standing up? Probably awesome. Yeah, it's probably so cool. This this one does not have any questions. This is just for us to figure out. no answers. So really tall. So first of all- This was asked by Jason. Oh, Hmm. from the movies? Just Jason. He has asked 1.8 thousand questions (gasps) on Quora. The hockey mask? He asked- he has asked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, ten questions in the last hour. I drowned huh. in a lake. Is that all right? <laughs> Jason Voorhees. Okay. My mom is weird. What's up with that? <laughs> um, the what is the question? Uh, oh, what is it like to be so tall that you get heads while standing, standing up? up. Um, so first of all, you could just get really short, uh, ladies cause ladies come in like little mini sizes That's sometimes. True. So sure, you could yeah. just be like pretty tall. It's like but Reese's pieces. If you're, if you're, if it's like, it's pretty much like Reese's pieces. <laughs> I, I wanted to thing. just affirm what Claire said really quick. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's like a standard height lady, you gotta be like seven feet tall. And that seems really cool. Seven feet tall. If you got like a four foot lady. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Five what? foot lady. Where's your wiener if you're seven if feet it's, tall? If it's in the middle. I, I mean, ideally. Now I'm second guessing everything. Seven feet might not be tall enough. I you might need to be eight feet tall. Eight feet. Yeah. Okay, eight feet, eight feet But you have to have a little lady. Sure. You're not going to live as long. Your but, mouth isn't yeah. at the top of your good body. Life. Yeah. Your mouth is only. It's like eight inches lower than the top of your body. <laughs> okay. So right. So you you could be around There's five. A little feet. bit of room. Wait, who's the tallest guy in world? Ask Cora. <laughs> in world. <laughs> um. That should be our question at the end. Okay. Yeah. Where's that basketball up, player who's eight feet tall? The tallest sure. man alive is Sultan Kosin, who's eight foot two. Yo, so we could just ask him directly. <laughs> yeah. He's and it, I think it was him with a baby in that picture. That would be ago. so yes. rude to find this man and be like, <laughs> Sultan, we got a question. Did you for ever you? get his slurp standing up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> for you when you're at the aquarium up at all the octopus are looking at you right it probably would suck to be that tall you gotta and you're standing up yeah no, yeah, no that would suck you're there you're one rubik's cube they want to solve with their beak you know what i'm talking about 
<laughs> do octopuses solve Rubik's cubes? They're really smart. They, do. they solve Rubik's ah. cubes. I didn't know they saw color. They can solve Rubik's cubes, so I think so. Where are you getting this information? I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. This isn't made up. <laughs> it was in a tank. <laughs> <laughs> they like drop them puzzles and shit, and they're like, yeah, child. I'm imagining play. Alex like at a zoo just being like. He throws one in. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry My for audio listeners. Sudoku booklet. I looked left and right, <laughs> <laughs> and then the octopus is just like Not doing it. Oh, and I guess tools. they also know who's gonna win the World Cup. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, they know all kinds of shit. Yeah, and cool. that's what makes them curious for a taste. <laughs> anyway, we all agree it'd be awesome to be so tall. Yeah, yeah. I think we agree. There, there, there's nothing that can go wrong. There's nothing that can go wrong. Um, you can't sit at many restaurants in Japan where they have you sit on the floor because you won't fit on the That's right. The there table. is one answer here. Mm. Um, William Mitchell says, I remember when Mary Lou Retton was introduced at a Lakers game, one smartass said the players were nuts over her. Okay. All right, oh, that, that's kind of funny. It's an yeah. answer that needs improvement for I sure. I didn't realize we were in Snarkville. <laughs> <laughs> Serve and find out. <laughs> this guy lives in Reno, Nevada. He's <laughs> a former Marine and 747 captain. Serve and find out. That's what it says? Uh huh. Not and the it, serve and find out part. It says former Marine. Yeah, but he's the one who's asking 10 questions a day. No, no. He's the one who answered the thing about oh, um, the, the smart joke. ass players. Took us to snark. No, the other the Jason he drove us was in the his one. Seven forty seven to snark. Let's see if he's answered a question. Asked a new question since we started. No, but he no. did ask one five minutes ago. Why is it hard to make friends when you need to be right all the time? Uh, oh, it always gets sadder the more you <laughs> look into it. It really does. Well, hmm. why is that hard to make friends when you always have to be right all the time? Well, you answered your own fucking question. That's right. Yeah, you gotta Jason. listen to people, Jason. Um, do you want to do one more question, Alex? Do you I want preference? to do the one in Quinseltown. We haven't done Quinseltown in forever. Okay. It's Quinseltown. Today's Hollywood and media segment. We're Cora. finding out what's on the silver screen live at Jeremy's house. Cora's biggest stars. Uh, what actor is a, quote, yowza times 1,000? Auga. I think I gotta go with yeah, Doctor Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my first thought. Uh, I keep saying Doctor. You, what do you guys think? Claire, I got your hall pass here. It is a drawing of Doctor Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I> was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's kidnapping all the animals. <laughs> <laughs> he appears to be in a mech. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's an inventor. Yeah. Yeah, he's he got is, cool glasses. He's a powerful man, and I understand the He's attraction. a good guy. Um, Yowza times 1,000. The one answer on here is Gary Cooper. Yeah, probably the uh, most first okay. thing I think of. Gary Cooper. I would think like Rock Hudson if we're talking old, old-timey. old Yeah, um, we are, certainly. C- this is from Joanne Wall, or Joan Wall. Uh-huh. Concerned Grandma. She has 28,000 followers. You know when you ever have that feeling when someone is named Joan Wall, and you're like, oh, yeah, you're Grandma. <laughs> like, that's just like, just by name alone? Yeah. How, well, how are problematic, you? problematic, but I didn't say it. How are you never not a grandma? That's right. She's asked 9.2 thousand questions on Quora. Here on Quora Raiders, Jones get the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, who's Yow? I can't even think of one, one actor. actor who's who's Yowza times 1,000. What about um Timothy Chalamet? Ugh. He's like a little mouse. He's yeah, a mouse. Yeah, he's sex with that peach. Yeah, he's, sex, he's with peach. sex with the peach. Um... <laughs> Uh, th- I think there was a lot of concern that Sydney Sweeney was a Yowza times 1,000, but she sure. doesn't deserve it. His modern discourse, right. mm. she doesn't deserve it. I think she deserves it. Yeah. Well, this is the discourse, isn't it? <laughs> was this on Twitter? I don't want to get political here. Did she deserve <laughs> it? She once, she once restored a, an old car by herself. Is that really? That's yeah. really cool. I did, wow. I I've never somewhere. done that. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know what? She's Yowza times 1,000. Yeah, with her me. big naturals. My yeah. fucking tongue's turning into a carpet over here. <laughs> if I had a fr- freaking floppers like that, no way am I getting near an engine. <laughs> I like the You're just asking for trouble. Wasn't it just women just being like, my boobs are bigger than hers? Wasn't I, that what it was? I think there was a thing about, like, I think because her boobs are so big, she must be Republican, but then she was in a movie called, like, The Church is Bad, and they're oh. like, now I don't uh, know what to think. That's fair. <laughs> I would make the same assumption. I yeah. think, uh, let boobs be back. 
Boobs should boobs should <laughs> boobs be are so back. Awesome. Boobs are back. They're where it all started. <laughs> Pedro Pascal. Pedro sure. Pascal. Yeah, I was a times a thousand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The handsome man. A yeah. thousand. I didn't say times a thousand. <laughs> it's just so many yowzas, really. Like if you saw them all written out, I'm not sure we could really throw anyone that's, up there. That's fair. Yeah. Jessica Rabbit. Sure. Pedro Pascal. One of my uh, favorite sure. actors, Jessica Rabbit. Um. <laughs> Mm. Uh, who else? Who else? Gary who else, who Cooper. Else, who else? Gary Cooper. I don't think I've seen a single movie he's in, but he seems great. <laughs> what about you, Jeremy? You're somewhat of a cinemaphile. Yeah. For me, I just like to fuck those movies. Woo. Mm, well, that's got to be it for us today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to season four. It's Jeremy's house. Uh, uh, we're going to ask a question here on the way out. We just had one like 30 seconds ago. What was uh, it? It's another tallest man. Um, who tallest man in world? But there's got to be. We can come up with a. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, um. Who is the? Who is the tallest? <laughs> who's the tallest? <laughs> who is the tallest? Who's the tallest? What oh. video game character is Yowza times one thousand? Yeah, that's, that's good. a good question. Yeah, Yours was good. better than mine. Yeah. I regret what I was saying. Type Which that pokey, up. What is it? What does Snorlax <laughs> feel like when you swallow? <laughs> That's way better. <laughs> what does Snorlax feel does like? Does Snorlax ever get his shit sucked standing <laughs> up? When you swallow him. <laughs> That's great. Well... That's going to be it for Quarters this week. Claire, thanks for coming on the thanks old pod. for having me on the old pod. It's, a, it's <laughs> wonderful having you back. Where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? ClaireOkane.com. Claire is O'Kane on Instagram. See if Claire is coming to your city to kill. <laughs> um, <laughs> If you want more of our show every Thursday, we have it. We have more of it on patreon.com slash quarators, and you should go there and you should support the show because uh, we need it to live. Cool. Ooh. And, uh, oh, did we plug the live show at the beginning? Nope. We're having a live show August 24th. Oh, cool. At Caveat Bar and Grill and Lounge Hello. in Manhattan. The number one PowerPoint comedy destination. <laughs> I'll see that's you there. for real. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes that make you think. Ticket in bio and crazy pussy in bio. Okay, I've turned this off.